Merry Christmas! My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas. And our theme, our Christmas theme this year, is Peace Has Come. Couldn't we all use a little peace this year? I know I could. 2020 was, it was quite a year, wasn't it? And we don't want you to think that peace is somewhere off in the distant future. No, peace is here. The Bible promises us that the birth of Jesus brought peace. So peace has come. Every single year at Christmas time, we have a little devotional that we can read uh, every day until Christmas Day. But I realized that not everybody got one this year, and so I wanted to just read a page out of it. Uh, every single day, you can come back here, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel so that you can find it again. Sitting in front of the Christmas tree, I'm gonna read a page uh, out of it for you right now. This is our December 7th reading and it's called The Lord is With You. There's a verse here from Luke chapter one, verses 26 through 28. It says, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. Mary was more than likely a very young girl, and here an angel is telling her impossible news. She is going to be a mother. Good news, yes, but also distressing news. There was a good chance a lot of people were not going to believe this story. During her pregnancy, Mary went to go stay with her relative Elizabeth. That was a good choice, since Elizabeth would be another person who would know what it was like to be carrying a miracle baby. How would you describe Mary? Why do you suppose God chose Mary to be the mother of Jesus? How do you think Mary felt when she saw the angel and received this news? Mary is a wonderful example of someone who had great faith, isn't she? She believed the angel and never questioned. And because Mary had great faith, God was able to use her for great things. How do you think God could use you this Christmas season? Do you have an ornament on your tree that represents Mary this year? If you do, let it serve as a reminder that we should all be willing to serve no matter what burden or inconveniences we face. Lord, help us to have faith that we need to trust your plan for our lives with our whole heart, even when that plan seems scary or unsure. We want to be used by you for great things. Use us to serve you for all our days. Amen. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in tomorrow for December 8th's reading. Hey, and one more thing before you go, I want to take a moment to remind you about our Christmas Eve services. We actually have two opportunities for worship on December 24th. We'll have a service at 5 p.m and a service at 7 p.m., both of which are completely identical. Pick the service that works the best for you and your family. Our church has really enjoyed serving you and worshiping alongside of you this year. We would love to be the church where you live. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can find us at waldenchurch.com. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.